we had a paper just at the beginning of the year in Nature Communications. And the goal of the study was really to understand stem cell function with aging. So it was a collaboration between two labs on campus, one who does aging research and another who does stem cell research. When Laura came to see me, she said, well, we have this animal model of aging. I didn't know anything about this animal model of aging to start with. She came to see me, she said, well, we have this animal model here and we believe that maybe the stem cells are affected there. We looked at stem cells from very old wild type mice and also mice with, that were genetically engineered to have accelerated aging or progeria. These mice get old instead of in three years, they do so in about seven months. A normal mouse will explore its environment. So what they try and do is get to the very edge of the perimeter of what they have access to. And they're curious, they're exploring, that's normal cognition. But with the progeroid mice, they're starting to lose brain function. And so they sort of sit still. And this is probably a cross between the fact that they have some cognitive defects as well as some reduced motor activity just because their muscles are weak. What we found is stem cells isolated from muscle biopsies of these mice actually had impaired function compared to stem cells isolated from young normal mice. Now we know that the stem cells are really you know, defective during aging. So that's the first part of the study that is very important. The second point you know, that we found is we found that if you inject normal young stem cells now, you can improve the lifespan of the, of the animals, but you can also improve the health span. So in a very acute model of accelerated aging, we could extend the lifespan of the mice up to threefold. And in a study with a less acute model, so mice that lived about seven months but got old prematurely compared to normal mice, we actually could delay a lot of symptoms associated with old age. So you can delay sign of osteoporosis, neurodegeneration, cardiovascular. So that is really the second point, is really the stem cell can have a beneficial effect to slow down aging. I really don't think it's a fountain of youth. What it has done is allowed us to get at some very important biology. We know a little bit more about aging now. So it's really important that you maintain stem cell function for the longest possible healthy life. We're not going to take someone at uh, 25 years of age or at 50 years of age, sorry, and inject normal stem cells and bring them to 25. But the goal will be to inject some people at 50 years of age and after that they're going to age slower, they're going to age better down the road because we're going to delay the uh, degenerative problem that occur with aging.